and welcome to the WIHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Well, recently I was out and about and I caught up with a wonderful outreach ministry that passes out food every Saturday morning in all kinds of weather. The ministry leader is Linda DeBay. But first, I started off talking with some of the people who come each and every Saturday morning. And this is what I got on the WIHS Journal News and Public Affairs. How you doing, my brother? I'm good, my brother. How you? I'm doing all right. So you out here to receive a blessing? Of course. As busy as I can get. We're on, it's a Saturday morning. The snow is coming down. And uh, how long you been coming here? A couple of years. Anybody want any more bread? Only about two or three years. Two or three years with Debbie. I just want to ask you a question. How has this uh, ministry been a blessing to you? Whenever I needed something, I knew that she was here. So I would come out and pick up a little thing, and especially like the day like today. So how far do you do you walk or drive? Walk. And how far do you walk? Vida, vida. Block and a half or something like that. A couple of blocks. So she's out here, rain, snow, and shine. Got, rain, snow, sleep, or hell. She's out here. We're very fortunate to have her come and help the people in the community. How you doing, man? Hello, brother, my brother. I'm good. Now, how long you been coming out here? This every Saturday m- morning, she's out here, rain, snow, and shine. How long you been coming out here? You've been coming out here for months or years. Well, months because I'm a Jamaican, so I just hear I was passing one Saturday morning going to do some work on Albany Avenue down there, and I saw this crowd, and I wheel back, and when I come, they said, oh, you can just write, put your name right there, man. And I put my name, and she said, oh, you can get us stuff, and you can just wait till the name call again, and you go get Linda is a blessed lady, man. When I tell us a blessed, blessed lady, man, she's in heaven right now, now on earth here, man, because I don't know which other woman could do what she do right now for the, the people there. What a rain or shine, because you know, when it's snowing, people, oh, I'm not going out there in no snow. Yeah. And I can't stop her from feeding our people there, man. You don't, have a di- you don't have to have a dime, man. And you come and get everything what you need, man. Oh my God, man. She's a blessed lady, man, I tell you, man. She's under the influence of Jesus, man. If it wasn't for Christ, uh, none of this would be happening. Not this one, not my brother. So I tell you, man. She's excellent. One of the greatest women on earth right now. Oh, I'm going to talk to a lady right here. Uh-oh, she said, she said, I'm the one. Come talk to me. With Linda. I've been working with Linda for 20-something years in this here community with Linda. Linda is a great person. What's your name? My name is Debbie Carter. Take me from uh, back to the beginning. How did you and Linda get connected? Well, me and Linda got connected over here on Albany Avenue and Vine Street. I was coming off of North Main Street, coming down from work to try to catch her. Yeah. And one day, and on a Saturday, I came up, and Linda was still there, and I caught her. And I've been with Linda ever since. Now, what can people come and get, and what, and what time does it start? It starts between 9 and 9.30. That's what time Linda pulls in here. I'm the one that you come and get the book and sign your name up on it, and then I give the book to Linda, and Linda calls out the names. So there's a, there's a crowd of people here, folks, and uh, we are in the parking lot of the Kentucky Fried Chicken on Albany Avenue, right basically on the corner of Vine and Albany. Well, keep doing what you're doing. We thank God for you for being out here for 20-something years. What's your name again? My name is Debbie Carter. <laughs> Debbie Carter, God bless you. I'm not going to hold you any further. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Yeah. How you doing, brother? What's happening, man? Go ahead, Juan. What's your name? Her Juan Jones. Now, now, you working with Linda or are you here to get... Yeah, no, I work with her. How long have you been connected with Linda? Oh, I've been here about five, six years now. Five, six years? How did it all start with you? Oh, I just met up with Debbie. <laughs> and she said she needed some help. So I just came over with her and I've just been with her ever since. So you're out here on Saturday mornings for five years. Yeah. It's snowing right now. It's cold. The last time I checked my... Uh, I looked at my phone. I don't know what, uh, what the temperature is now, but uh, it was seven degrees. I don't know what it is. Now, it might have rose. It might have rose from there. But. Yeah, but same temperature. You know, we out here, rain, sleet, snow, shine. We here. We are here. You know. What's your name again? How? Why? Well, God bless you, man. I'm not gonna hold you. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Linda, when you get a moment, folks, it is coming down. What's the temperature? Last time I looked at my phone, about a, I don't know. I'm gonna reach in my pocket, look at my phone, and it says, uh, Oh my goodness. What's the temperature here? It says 10 degrees on my phone. Parking lot of KFC, Albany Avenue. 
the snow is coming down and um, folks are coming out to, to be blessed with, with food and sweets. And I had to stop over here and talk to my sister, Linda. Linda, how you doing? I'm well. How are you, Jerry? Oh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. It's come, We're right around the corner from a new year. Amen. Two days. And I see God has sustained you, and I just thank God for you. Now, folks, I'm going to let you know something. That Linda and I, we used to attend the same church. That's how we met in the early 2000s. And I can remember before I started working for WIHS, she came up to me, and she was just really excited. And she said, God told me to pray for the announcer. God told me to pray for the announcer that's you or something like that and i couldn't believe it. i'm like what yeah you hadn't gotten the job you have now yes. so amen god knows everything now linda is our dear sister in the lord and what i love about linda she can't sit still folks she's she stands in one place and she just moves from side to side she's just oozing with the love of christ and she's so passionate for the things of god now is this ministry that you do here do you, is there a name for it or you just come out here and do what you do it's outreach and and pastor paul and his church sponsor our efforts every week. We've been here for 15 years, and these folks that come out, we know them by name. They're like my family. They are awesome people. So you've been coming out here for 15 years? Yes, every Saturday. We've only missed one Saturday in 15 years when the city of Hartford closed the roads down, so we couldn't get out of our driveways or couldn't get down Albany Avenue. But that was it. Wow. And and did you start this or did the pastor start this? Or was it your idea? Well, I'd asked pastor if it was possible if I could go through the city of Hartford and just pass out some food. And he said, well, Sister Linda, why don't you start a ministry? And I said, well, what's that? And he said, well, call it outreach. I said, okay, we'll call it outreach. So we ended up just walking through the city in the beginning um, for six months or so. And then God told me to go on the corner of Vine. And we were there for maybe a couple of years, and the, the line got a little long, so I moved over to the building that's on the corner over there of Sisson, and we were there for a couple of years, and then when they sold that building, um, the people of KFC were nice enough to let me use their parking lot. How long have you been saved? 1996. 1996. Where are you from originally? I'm from Manchester. What's your nutshell testimony, how, how you got saved, your conversion story? Well, I, m my mom, when I was a kid, sent me to the closest church was Protestant. Mm -hmm. So who knew about Jesus, right? We didn't know anything about Jesus or the blood. But uh, I, I was volunteering for an animal organization, and um, a girl named Marianne, who was there, had called me one night at midnight. I was not home. And she said, I know this sounds strange, but the Lord wants you back. And I said, okay, well, fine. I gave her a call the next day, and I said, okay, so what does that mean? She goes, well, I, I'm attending a church, Pastor David Paul on Wethersfield Avenue, and I'd like you to come. When I walked in that building, I sat down, and I started to hear a voice. And God told me, I didn't know it was God at the time, but told me everything he wanted to do for spiritual life. And there's some things that still aren't, aren't done yet, but I, I have a mission. So we're talking about Spiritual Life Fellowship. It's the name of the congregation. Right. And we're Pastor David Paul, the senior pastor. Correct. And we have recently moved to Bloomfield. We're in the Wittenberry Mall, number 27. Pastor Bruce Johnson, he's he's the associate pastor, right? Or assistant pastor. Correct. Yeah, Correct. he's the one that got me started driving sobs. Awesome. <laughs> that one that's and running I, right I, over I, there. And I see you're still addicted. <laughs> <laughs> so, God bless you. I just want to stop and uh, check in with you and say that uh, I love you and there's not a thing you can do about it. Keep doing what you're doing. You're blessing a lot of people every Saturday so people can come down around what time again? Every Saturday? We start at 9. At 9 on the parking lot of uh, the Kentucky Fried Chicken parking lot on Albany Avenue. Food is being passed out. Sister Linda is here and she's here uh, as long as the roads are open. Amen. And you don't need a license. You don't need an ID. We don't even care who you are. You just need to show up and we give you what we have. Thank you, Sister Linda. God bless you. Good to see you. God bless you too. And you just heard a re airing of my conversation with Linda DeBay and others. Linda's Food Ministry is every Saturday morning on the corner of Sigony and Albany Avenue. Sign up start at about 8.30. And if you go, you can also ask Linda about a weekly Kentucky Fried Chicken giveaway. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WIHS 860-346-1049, 860-346-1049. The opinions expressed are those of the participants, not necessarily of those of the staff or management of the station. I'm Jerry Williams for the WIHS Journal Public Affairs Program at 104.9 FM, WIHS.
in Middletown. <laughs>